Hey everybody, it's me Stacy here at Scrapbooking Made Simple and it's time for our next Saturday with Stacy YouTube class number 325. I hope you all had a very merry merry Christmas. Happy holidays, seasons, greetings, whatever it is you celebrate. I hope you celebrated with friends and family and loved ones and just had the most amazing day. I can tell you we are home. <laughs> By the hair of a chinny chin chin, we are home. We were home for Christmas morning. I'll cry if I think about it. So it was just wonderful to be in our own place, our own bed. <laughs> we weren't able to get a Christmas tree. There just was not time. We moved Christmas Eve. Actually, we're still moving, but Christmas Eve was the main push. And... Oh my goodness gracious, it was um, just my two boys and myself, and I never want to move again. <laughs> we were in a two-story rental, so getting the mattresses down and all of those things, I am not a spring chicken anymore. No, no, no. <laughs> but between myself and my two teenage boys, thankfully we were able to get almost everything done and brought over to the new house. Now it is a hot mess at the new house and it got to a point where I'm like, do we really need this? Can't we just get rid of this? Let's donate this because <laughs> you get so tired of packing things. And I have learned I do not need a hundred pair of socks. Not that I really had a hundred pair of socks, but I've learned I can probably use, get away with, I don't know, six or eight pair of socks and be quite happy. Why did I have so many socks? <laughs> I don't know if I just collected them over the years or if finally the dryer decided to give them all back. But <laughs> when you're moving, you really, really take a hard look at what you have. And did you really need that? Because if not, let's give it away. So we were home Christmas morning and we do traditionally go to the movies on Christmas later in the afternoon. We take our boys to Christmas to a movie on Christmas and we went and saw Star Wars, which was wonderful. Um, so we had a nice small little Christmas dinner and it I, I just to be home is just something I didn't ever think was going to happen. And now it has. And Michael and I, we sit there and we look around and it's like, oh, <laughs> we're in such disbelief and awe and so grateful to finally be there. No, the house is not yet finished. We still have subcontractors coming in and out, but at least now they know we're home. So they ring the doorbell before they come in. <laughs> they used to just walk into the house because nobody was living there. Not anymore. <laughs> now they ring the doorbell because we're home. <laughs> I cannot tell, tell you how grateful and thankful I am to all of you for all of the support over the last two and a half years of getting home. There really is no place like home, and I know that's a cliche, but we're just, we're basking in the, the joy of being there and seeing our children back in their bedrooms and so far there's been no the house changed so much we we changed it I changed the colors I changed the not so much the layout of the house but just the I changed the color of the cabinets and things like that so that when we went home it didn't have any kind of a feeling of the house that burned down I didn't want it to have any of that same look or feel completely different so when we walked in we felt like we were walking into a new home because I was worried that maybe the boys would be afraid to go home or afraid to sleep there. But so far, so good. I'm so excited. I just, I can't wait to just spend, I have New Year's Eve and New Year's Day off since we don't have to move. Those are days off. <laughs> and I think I might just sit and look <laughs> and then go to another room and sit and look. <laughs> I know that sounds crazy, but I, I really just am happy just sitting and 
So anyway, today I have got an amazing YouTube for you today. I have got a worldwide exclusive on one product. Uh, some other products were probably one of the first to have them. I've got my set of Tombow markers. It's just going to be a fun YouTube and hopefully I bring you something that you have seen before. Absolutely. We are not going to be the first to have it, but at a price point that you can afford it. I have never, ever, ever showed this product on camera. Not ever. I haven't carried it in my store. Not ever. This is the first time we will have it. And at a price where I can look at you and say, okay, this is a good deal for a really good product. And you, you can have this. It's not going to be priced out of most people's budget. So I'm excited to bring that to you. Now, first we have winner, winner, chicken dinner to talk about. That was last week's YouTube, which was my must haves. Uh, Simply Defined and Simply Refined was on sale. Well, most of it, some of it, part of it. <laughs> and I wanted to bring back and show you how to use my must have dies, which are my nesting sets, which have so much to them. And that's why they're called a must have. I am hoping now with Mr. SMS, out of the out of the woods he's you know he's doing fine he's recuperating he's going to physical therapy he's working every day on getting better and i still have to fight with the landlords and i still have to fight with the insurance company but not nearly like i was i mean not even a little bit now that all of that is almost behind me i can focus back on the things that i love to do the the I want to bring back must-haves and that just that took that takes time to design them and figure them out and make it work but now hopefully my plate is a little emptier so I can fill it up with things that not only make my heart happy but hopefully make your heart happy I can put all of that ickiness behind me and I'm good at doing that I am good at putting it behind me it's done it's over let's move on we don't have to have animosity if the insurance company happens to be watching, we are almost there. We truly are. And then we can part ways and let it go. I know you've already let it go. I get that. I'm talking about me. <laughs> I am not one to carry things around like that. I'm just not. Life is too darn short to hold grudges or to be angry. There's so much beauty in the world that if you just open your eyes, it's right there in front of you. So. That's my perspective, and that's where I'm gonna go once this is over, which will allow me to get back to what I love doing, which is running this business and designing and dealing with the manufacturers and finding new products for you. So very excited about all of that. Did you hear that, all of you manufacturers who watch me? Because I know lots of you who I buy from, you do watch these YouTubes. I'm coming for you, so you be prepared and have some really cool stuff to show me. I'm ready. <laughs> okay, let me talk about winner, winner, chicken dinner. And that was on the must-haves. So these people are going to win a must-haves die and a pack of the Sizzix Perfect Die Cutting Paper. It was beautiful paper, 80-pound cardstock. It was lovely. Lots of colors, 80 sheets. It was a really good, good deal. I was happy with it. We needed to bring the price down a little bit more, so we discounted it a little bit because I thought it was a little pricey for what you got but I'm gonna have a talk with them about that. Hi, Mr. Big Shot David, I'll see you soon. <laughs> okay, so our winner winner chicken dinner from that YouTube to, which was 324, cause this is 325. Our first one is Jennifer with only one, with one N. Um, yeah, Jennifer, one N, one N Jennifer. Her last name is Enright. Is that you, Jennifer Enright? Hello, is that you? Because you know what? If it is, you're a winner. Chicken dinner. You're a winner. Chicken dinner. Wahoo. Cut you for you. I like my little head bob. <laughs> now we've got one more. Let me put my glasses on because I can't see it without it. Our second winner, winner, chicken dinner, which meant they left a comment on YouTube number 324 and our random software picked their names. Congratulations. Oh, I can pronounce this name too. It is a banner day. Laura, Laura Joyce. Hello, Laura. 
Is this you? Because if it is, you know what? You're a winner. Chicken dinner. You're a winner. Chicken dinner. Wahoo. Kachu. For you. <laughs> See, I can do the head bob now. Couldn't do the head bob when I was a teenager. Oh, no. If I had even thought about giving my mom a little bit of sass or attitude, my mom was five foot. Truly, five foot tall. My dad was not much taller, if any. My parents were... You know, small little guys, where I got my height, not exactly sure, but not complaining. <laughs> if I had done one of those to my mother, holy smokes artichokes, I would not be here now <laughs> to teach you. It would have been over. <laughs> I learned at a very young age, if I did not agree with what my parents had said to me or how they disciplined me, I went to my bedroom, I did not slam my door, Oh no, I shut my door and then I took my pillow and I screamed into it so they couldn't hear me. <laughs> I am old school. <laughs> I didn't look cross-eyed at my parents. Heavens no. <laughs> like I said, or I would not be here today to have this conversation with you. <laughs> oh, how I miss my mom and dad. Oh my. Okay, so anyway, congratulations to our two winners and I can do the head bob now. <laughs> I also never said whatever to my parents, nor did I say uh, hello. No, 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 <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> so if you happen to be a teenager out there, there is a there is there are other words besides whatever. <laughs> Truly, the dictionary is big, really, really big. Pull it out and learn a new word for the day. Your vocabulary is so important if you're a teenager. Learn a good vocabulary. That way when you go out in the world, you have things to say. <laughs> that was my soapbox. <laughs> All teenagers have now clicked me off. <laughs> there goes my demographic. Oh well. <laughs> Okay, so Laura and Jennifer, I've now come back and I had digressed. Now I'm back. See, digressed is a very good word. <laughs> I'm back. <laughs> okay, I cracked myself up, but I got to continue. I can't stop. <laughs> okay, how do you claim your prize? It's easy. Just go to scrapbookingmadesimple.com. Scrapbookingmadesimple.com. Look for the link that says winner, winner, chicken dinner. Follow the directions and we will get your prizes out to you just as quickly as possible. We will confirm that you are indeed our winner. So please don't forget to send us that email. If you want to have the chance to be a winner, winner, chicken dinner, all you have to do is subscribe to our channel. The subscribing is really important for us. If you can subscribe to our channel and then you can post a comment on this YouTube and you go into the running for winning a prize. We give two prizes away every single YouTube. So congratulations to Laura and Jennifer with one N and we hope you enjoy your new must-haves and that Sizzix paper. I'm going to put those to the side. Okay, so today, today we're going to get started. I'm going to tilt on down. I'm going to show you the make and take that will be going on right now. We are live chatting. If it, you are watching this, the premiere during the premiere of this YouTube. Hello, everybody. <laughs> We usually have several hundreds of people online chatting, so it's good to have you all here with us. And uh, I'm going to tilt down. We're going to get started for today. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> yeah, it's going to be one of those YouTubes, I can already tell you. <laughs> so let me tilt on in and scroll on down and tilt on in. And a little, there we go, maybe a little bit up. How's that? Okay, maybe a little bit more, just a hair bit. Is that what you're saying? Just a little bit more, Stacy. Okay, so this is our free make and take going on downstairs right now. I know, so super cute, right? This is Stampendous product. Look at how darling is this. It goes zoop. Sound effects are mandatory. So what does it go? Zoop. <laughs> and it lays flat so it can be put in the envelope that comes with it and sent and it's mm -hmm. since it lays flat no extra postage then when they get it it pops up and they're like oh, oh isn't that clever but this this piece right here was made for something else it was made for more babyish but when I saw it I said hmm does this have to be <laughs> for 
baby can't we do something else with it i love the colors it's so super cute but the stamps that come with the set are kind of baby well they are baby i said i want to do spring with this so i looked at peggy from stampendous and i said i want to do spring with this i said do you have any spring stamps coming out and she said why yes yes we do and look at what we did totally different Sometimes you have to think outside the box. Now, what is this? It's part of their Window Rama collection. And their Window Rama started out as a die. This is a die set. And this die cuts out the pieces that enables you to make something like this. It's simple to do, truly it is, but what if you're not a die cutter? What if you don't like to die cut or you haven't gotten that far into your crafting yet? Or you're moving and all of your die cutting supplies are packed away. Um, hello? <laughs> See, I would never say that to my parents. <laughs> so they started with a die and we have YouTubes on this, but then Stampendous came out with a very clever concept. They thought about people who didn't necessarily have die cutting machines and they came out with card kits. Now these card kits have enough to make eight of these darling window ramas. Really super cute, eight of them. So you get eight of the bases, eight of the uh, backings, even eight envelopes ready to go and you get stamps. But do you see what the stamps say? They're welcome baby and it's a boy, it's a girl and there's nothing wrong with that. Unless you don't have a baby or not having a baby or a grandbaby or expecting a baby. And I didn't want that to dissuade you from buying this because this is so super cute. Now, I wanna show you how they work. I'm gonna put that to the side for now. I wanna show you how they work. You get, I feel like there's two here. No, you get eight of this piece. Eight of this piece and eight envelopes. And with these three items and some stamps or some embellishments or some stickers or whatever it is that you have, you can make eight ready to go cards, ready to send, ready to give out eight invitations. It's whatever you want to do. I'm going to start with the top piece here. That was a car accident. I'm pretty sure. Okay. Well, let's see if we hear the, uh, the fire engines. All right. So we've got eight pieces here and we've got the circle that pops right out circle pops right out and that is what gives you the window in the card and on both sides it is already scored for you so all you have to do is fold them back and you have just like that, already made the first part of your window rama card. Then we have the back piece. Here, it's in a darker gray. You know it's the back piece because it doesn't have any window to pop out, but it has something else in there. Hmm, let me see if I can cut a little piece of paper. Hmm, <laughs> maybe I've got a piece of paper under here. What does it have in there? Well, let's see if I'm close. It has little slits for you to put a picture in. Oh, I'm a little big. If I was a baby picture or a picture of some beautiful flowers, or an invitation to something I could put right in here. It's got four little slits for you to put it, slip it right on in. Still a little big. 
to fit right behind. So if you had a darling picture, super cute little picture, you could put it right there. And then the backing also has pre-scored, so you fit them together, and poof, you're done. Assuming you're putting a picture in there or an invitation in there. What else does this back one have? It has this little center slit. Now, what would you use this little center slit for? Well, let's pretend that this is a Disney gift card. <laughs> if you were giving a, car, a gift card to somebody, or you wanted to put a to or from message on the back. Done. But what if you liked the gray and you wanted to make that your background for your window? Just fold your wings in and now You've made an instant background. You still have the little slits. You can still put your picture in there or a gift card in there or whatever you want. The options are yours and they've made it so very, very simple to use. And being that you get eight of them, you can just knock them out really quick. But don't forget we have this center circle that we punched out and that's what we're gonna be using today. I'm gonna play with this circle first. Now, we have two sets of stamps from Stampendous, and I think we're one of the very, 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 very first to have them in stock. I think we're the only one who may have them bundled this way, but we've got two sets. The first one is House Mouse. I don't know if it's zooming in or not. So House Mouse, you get 12 individual stamp sets, and a little block and a little black ink pad. All bundled nice and neat right here for you. So if you are a house mouse, woohoo could you lover, you're going to love this little set. All new designs, just great. And every one of them has a little sentiment. So it is a card or an embellishment for your layouts. It is ready to go. We also have the Fran set, which also has 12 different sets and they have thank you and happy birthday. Each little set has its own little sentiment to go with it. So you can mix and match all you want. And what's nice about the small sets is that let's say you have some friends who have dogs and some friends who have cats, but you don't have either a dog or a cat. Well, now you've got a simple little stamp to do either. You can send your cat friends little cards that have uh, cats on them or dog friends, you've got things that say happy birthday and thank you and thinking of you and all sorts of cute little sentiments that will work inside those window rama cards, but they also work independently of each other. So super cute. So I'm going to start with my little pop out, which came right out of here. I'm not going to grab any other paper. I'm just going to use this. And I'm not going to use it that ha on the side that has the, the little colors. I'm going to turn it over just so I have a blank side. And then I'm going to stamp. Now I'm going to bring over my gush pad, which is right here. And I'm going to play with my the little birdie. Look at how cute is that, right? Just darling. So I'm going to pull out my clear block. I'm going to put my clear stamp on my clear block. And clear stamps are meant to cling and then release and cling and then release. If they stop clinging for any reason, then you just need to wash your block and wash your stamp. You may have too much oil from your hands or maybe embossing powder. What if you don't have a clear block? Not a problem because if you buy the set, they gave you one. They gave you, Stampendous gave you a clear block to go with it so you're ready to stamp right out of the gate and they gave you the ink pad to go with it. You are good to go. You can give this as a gift, open it up and they can start playing and stamping right away. All they need is paper. So little block, I'm going to ink it up. 
I'm using Memento. Oh, here come the, and I'm gonna give a press down. I can hear the fire trucks already. So I'm gonna go one, two, three, A, B, C, and pull up. Oh, beautiful. There we go. Now, I'm stamping into a gush pad. And a gush pad is just a foam pad that we manufacture that gives your stamp the ability to sink into that paper and make a better impression. If I was stamping directly onto a hard surface, there's, I, I have to be sure I press every little part down really good because there's no way for that stamp to sink down in when I press on the sides, just right here. So if I'm stamping on a hard surface, sometimes you end up with holes that you didn't want out of your stamp. So we recommend a gush pad. Doris makes one. It's This is half of the size of my gush pad. Mine's an eight and a half by 11. Doris's is an 11 by 14, if not bigger. Maybe it's bigger than that. Maybe it's 11 by 18, it's huge. Um, they cost $1.99, ours is, and like I said, this is half of one, so you can cut it and share it, whatever makes your heart happy. But I've got my cute little birdie there, and maybe I even stamp, maybe I even stamp the little flowers. So ink up my little flowers. Maybe I stamp off just a couple little flowers. Maybe right there. See, I didn't stamp the whole thing. I just stamped a couple of flowers. And maybe I'll do some on the other side. And then maybe I'll do some right at the top. So I'm not using the whole stamp. Let's go here. Yep, I'm pretty sure there was an accident outside. And let's turn it this way. And oh, I want that, but I don't want that piece. Hmm. Let's get a little bit of them. Let's just wipe it off and make sure I don't have any ink on that one. No ink, because I don't want that to stamp. Cute! Ta-da! And when we put it there, cute, right? Easy peasy, all off of one stamp. And I didn't even use I didn't even use the saying, which is, hello, friend. Huh, maybe I can put that right there. Let's just use it, right? Maybe there. Hello, friend. Now I can color. I can color. What if I wanted it to be simpler than this? What if I wanted it to be just like the sample I showed you? Let me stamp really quickly. I'm just gonna do one little birdie stamp and we're gonna keep it super simple. You're like, oh, Stacy, that's a lot for me to color. Okay, what if we just do the one birdie? Ready? One, two, three, A, B, C. So now I have got two of them. Let's start with the simple one first. I'm gonna put my stamp where it belongs so I don't lose it. Put my block back. And let's start with this one first. And to color it, I wanna keep it simple because maybe you don't have a lot of time. Maybe you need to get something done uber fast. Not a problem. 
let's start with Tombow markers. Now Tombow markers are a water based marker, dye ba a dye marker that moves with water and they have the brush tip and they have the bullet tip. So you can write with them. Hello. Or you can use that brush tip to make either very wide or very, very thin lines all out of a brush tip. You have both with Tombos. Tombow markers have been around forever. What you can also do with Tombows is palette paint, which is what I'm going to do. And what is palette painting? Well, I'm on my craft mat right here and I'm just gonna scribble. See that blue right there? I'm just gonna scribble right onto what I have now deemed my palette, which is my craft mat. If you don't have a craft mat, not to worry. Uh, I could use the packaging <laughs> that the product came with. Okay, anything that's non-porous. Can you see that I scribbled on there? I'm gonna make my palette now out of the packaging because that's what I have handy. Maybe I am on a plane. Maybe I, I just, you know, I don't have a craft mat. It's not in my budget yet. I'm not that crafty yet. I haven't decided to buy one. Okay, you've got the packaging that the product came in. Add a little bit of water to it and you're going to make a paint. The more water you add, the lighter your color. And then you can just come in and do a simple wash. Get it really light, lots and lots and lots of water, and my color will be really light. And I'm just adding a little bit of a wash. Just a little bit of a wash. Just so my paper is not so stark blue. Then I can wipe it off. And grab my green. Rinse my paintbrush out add a little bit of water and come in and add some green for grass for the bottom. And just start making a background. All out of a couple markers. Now if I want more color to it, I can absolutely then take my Tombow marker and just kind of go on the outside of my, it's kind of the outside of my circle. Oh. And then a little bit of water and kind of drag that color in. So did you see what I did? I took my marker and I went along the outside just rubbed it right along the outside. And then I got it wet, my paintbrush, and I dragged that color in if I wanted it a little darker, just on the edges. So now I've got him kind of painted. He's got kind of a sky and he's got kind of grass going on. And then what I do with him is entirely up to me. How, how I color the rest of him really is, is, is up to me. I can continue to palette paint. That's how my fingers get dirty. <laughs> I can go in there and I can continue to palette paint him. I'm just filling in his body. If I want more water, if I wanted a lighter color, add more water. I kind of take off a little bit of the water with my fingers because I don't want it to be sopping. But 
in no time at all, I start to fill him in. And if I want my color darker, use less water. I can pick this up, and now I didn't add any water to this. And I can come in and maybe make him a little darker under here. And then pull some of that off and kind of blend it up. And every time I do this, I'm taking a little bit of that paint or all that dye-based ink off of my paintbrush. So I can get him as dark down there just by layering the color. Just adding a little bit of shadow to him. Let's see if I want to add a little bit. Maybe right in here. And all I'm doing is taking my paintbrush and just adding some straight color. Now, why am I not adding it from the marker? Well, because it really soaks in. The markers are really juicy and it doesn't let you blend as well. But look at how cute is he? Then I can grab my yellow. And come in here and put some yellow and pick up my color. And if you've got a little too much water, this is all you do. Just pull it right off with your finger. Right, so he's becoming just darling. And When I'm done with him, now you see, I palette painted right over his wings. I did, I put that blue right over his wings. The, it didn't stop me from painting him another color. I could come in and pull up that yellow again. And even though he's got blue underneath, cause I just went right over him when I was putting my wash on the back, I'm just gonna pull up that yellow and fill in my color. Don't be afraid. When you're doing a wash, it sometimes is easier just to do the whole thing. See, his wings are fine. They're fine. Uh, I have no idea what color this is. How deep it's going to be. Let's see if I can lighten it just a little bit. Oh, too light. And too watery. Too light and too watery. A little better. cute and then I can just fill them in with my yellow so we've got them almost done put these over there I've palette painted some of it straight just on the top of my packaging now let's put them together So I've got my two pieces. And I want to make sure my circle is center. How do I do that? Well, I lay the two pieces flat together, back and front, line them up, and then I put him right back in the middle and I tape him down. So I'm just gonna be quick about my taping.
peel off the liner to your Stacy tape or whatever double-sided adhesive you're using. And now I'm going to line my back and my front up. Just line them right up. Lay this right down where you want it to be. And now you've got them centered. Right? You can do this in just a matter of minutes. I took a little bit longer because I'm showing you how to do it. But once you get going, oh my goodness gracious. Put a little piece of Stacy tape in here. I line it all the way up to the bottom of my little wing. Another little piece of Stacy tape here and I line it all the way up. So it's right on that edge, right on that outer edge. Peel off. And then all I have to do is line it up here. One side done. off. Now, you see I went a little over. My tape is a little too far. It's double-sided tape. Just tape it, put it right back into each other. Just put it right back and it's going to be fine. You don't have to try and figure out how to cut that little piece off. No, no, no. And line up and we are done. You can make a little, put a little box here with a little sentiment, but how cute and how easy is that? And it fits right into the envelope. See, whoosh, right there. Put it right into your envelope. Super cute invitations, super cute um, spring cards. Thank you cards. If you are working at a church or volunteering at a church and they've put you in charge of making the cards for the welcome members or the birthday cards for the members. This is an easy way of doing um, eight cards. Put a little happy birthday. You can put a little verse on the back from the church. Oh my gosh, you can do this. If you have a craft club and you need them to do a project, and every one of them is different. And then at the end of the project, you tell everybody to pass yours to the left. And then that's the one they take home is what their neighbor did. How cute. And it doesn't have to be difficult. This is one stamp. That's all I did. Because I have this one over here that I really embellished. And that I can certainly go in and start to color and make it even more. You can take it from basic to wahoo ka -choo, holy smokes artichokes. It just depends upon how much time you have and how much effort you want to put into it. Not that, you know, not, not everybody, maybe you want to put this much effort into coloring. Maybe this is, you know, maybe this is the effort you need to put in, or maybe this is the time you have. So you have options with these stamps. They are so usable. And like I said, this one is so cute. It's balloons and happy birthday. Let me pop out another center. And let me bring over my gush. Turn it around because I like the back side. And bring over my block. Oh, let's put the happy first. Happy first. Let's just stamp our happy. 
right here, A, B, C, one, two, three, up. I've got my happy stamped. Now let's do some balloons. Well, I should get the birthday probably first, huh? Before I stamp all over the, put the, happy. Birthday, one, two, three, A, B, C. There we go. Now let's do the balloons. So I can put some here and maybe one coming right there and Maybe another one over here. Maybe one. Hmm. I can't decide. Maybe one here. All right. You get the idea. Tons of happy birthday balloons. And then again, it's up to you on how to color. Now I showed you how to palette paint. I want to show you that if you want to, you don't necessarily have to palette paint. You can use the markers as is. I'm going to tell you that they're very strong and very juicy in their color. So you can't color again and again and again and again and again over it. Otherwise your paper will start to ball up. You kind of have to be a little quick. I'm going to come over here with my happy and I'm just going to color in half of my happy. So I'm coloring the top half of my happy. Straight with the marker. Straight with the marker. So I just colored the top half of my happy. What if I took, let's say my pink, and I come up and I do the bottom half. These markers don't necessarily blend this way, more they blur this way. So I'm filling in the bottom half of my happy with my pink. So I've got my two colors there. But then if I take my yellow and I just come right back over the top and I just kind of go over that pink just a little bit, just a little bit. You can't spend too much time there because then your paper is going to um, start to ball up because the ink is very wet. But if I just go over it a little bit I'm blurring that line just a little bit. So now it looks like it kind of blends into each other. You can do that with these markers. And if you're using basic paper, which is what this is, just basic 100 pound, it feels like 100 pound paper, you can't sit there and rub, 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 and color, 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 color. Now it doesn't come through the back 
but it will start to ball up. And you can see that the lines have slowly, they've blurred into each other. So it's not such a defining line, but you can tell you've got one color on the top and another color on the bottom. You can do that with these markers, absolutely. You just have to play with them a little bit. So stamp yourselves a whole lot of happy and get out some of your markers and play until you figure out how much ink you can lay down before it starts to go kind of makes your paper kind of ball up. I don't want you to think you can't use these markers just as is without adding water or anything else to them. And then you color in your balloons. And you put that in there. And so cute. These give you so much option, as do the stamps. But what if you wanted to do a bigger card. You're saying, Stacy, I don't do small little things like that. I want something to give me an entire card. Okay, I hear you. I heard you. I, you were talking to me. I, I heard you. I'm going to keep the happy out. I'm going to keep the happy out. And I think I'm going to use some flowers and a butterfly. All right. This is where, so I'm going to use, let's take a piece of white paper so you can see. I'm going to use these four stamps all in one card. I'm going to use these four different stamps to make one, one card or one layout or one image. However you want to describe it, you can use it for an embellishment on your layouts, you can use them in your mixed media, your altered art. You're saying, yeah, these are super cute, but they're small and I want to do something bigger. How do I do that? All right, this is where my worldwide exclusive thing comes in. And I'm going to tilt up just for a minute because I need to talk to you before I show it. Okay, so I'm going to tilt up and hopefully you're all still with me, but if not, oh well. I'm going to go back a little bit because that's an awful lot of Stacy. Hello. Okay. So let's talk. I feel a moral obligation to my manufacturers to do the right thing. I do it as often. Well, I, I do it all the time. I, I mean, I really always want to give my very, very best and do the right thing by them. I never want to cause harm to anybody. So when the stamp platforms came out, for the longest time, it was just the Misty. And we didn't carry the Misty because the price made it difficult for me to be able to say, this is really affordable. It is a great tool. Absolutely, hands down, a great tool. But it is at a higher price point than I'm comfortable bringing to use. Okay. Then Tonic Studios came out with the Tim Holtz platform. And you know we love Tonic Studios. And we were willing to carry it because it was at a lower price point. They had a few different things about them, but then it got yucky and there was lawsuits and it got really icky. And I said, okay, hold on. I'm just going to take a step back because I didn't want to bring something to you or to, to the, I, I just felt that I wanted to do right by tonic and until it was settled, I wasn't sure what to do, so I didn't do anything. I just, I didn't carry any of them. We had, we had the We Are Memory Keepers, I think for just about a hot minute, and then that lawsuit happened. So I took a step all the way back from stamping platforms. I did, because I felt it was the right thing to do. And so when Ozzy Andrews showed up with a stamp platform, the first thing I did was say no. I said, I'm so sorry, not for us can't do it. I said, I don't want to, I don't want to cause you harm. I don't want to get involved in a, a legal issue. And he looked at me and he said, no, you're good. Trust me. This is different. And I said, I'm very skeptical. I'm like, hmm, because <laughs> I didn't, 
I didn't want to bring something to you that later on I might have to say, I'm so sorry. <laughs> no. So he brought out his stamp platform and he showed it to me and he showed me what makes it different and why it is different than the Misty, which is currently out on the market. And again, kudos to my sweet Petunia for coming up with that. Honestly, beautiful tool, amazing tool but not at everybody's price point. That makes it difficult for me because I feel a moral obligation to you as well to try and find things that I know you can afford to keep crafting, you know, as your hobby. So Ozzy Andrew said, play with it and see what you think. Let me show you the differences so you understand, so you see that we're not infringing on anything. And by this time, Tonic Studios had settled with My Sweet Petunia, and that's that's all out of the way, and, and Tonic doesn't sell a platform here in the States anymore, and I still wasn't willing to bring in My Sweet Petunia, sorry. But then Andrew showed up with his, and at a price that I can look at you and say, okay, if you've always wanted a stamping platform, it's nice, it's good, it works well, it does what it says it's supposed to do. It's different than the others. That doesn't make it any better or less than the others, and the others aren't better or less than his. They're different. Do you need to own it? I don't know. That's up to you. If you already have a Misty or you already have one of the other stamping platforms, is this calling your name? I don't know. That's for you to make that decision. But I need to be as upfront and honest. I stayed away from them because I just needed to be, um, I needed to be fair to everybody. And until things got settled, it was very, very hard. And, and then you think, well, there's other lawsuits going on out there, but my goodness gracious, then it's, it's a very, fine line morally that I, I try to walk and I try to always do the right thing. Do I always do the right thing? No. I make mistakes. I am not perfect. I am human. I apologize when I've done something wrong. I try to learn from it and do better. So Andrew walked in with this. I put my hand up and said no. He said, let me show you. And he did. So I brought it in at a price, like I said, I think you can afford. His stamping platform from Couture Creations retails for, I believe, $24.99. And we're going to do 20% off to bring it down to, I believe, $19.99 or $20. It is beautiful. It does exactly what it says it's going to do. And I'm going to show it to you now with the understanding that the one that you have, if you already own one, probably is just perfect for you. But if you haven't been able to buy one because they've been out of your price point, this might be the answer. This might be your solution. All right, I'm gonna tilt on down. And that was my soapbox. So I just, I have to be honest with you. You are my friends, you are my family. I just have to be truthful and I have to explain why I did what I did and why I've stayed away. And now why I'm willing to bring this one in. Okay, okay, so let me grab it. Let me tilt down. Let me scroll back in. Maybe a little too close, yeah. Okay, this is his stamping platform. It's a nice size, let me tell you. It's a five and a half by eight inches. It's a nice size. Let me pull it out. So you can get a better look. I was playing with it earlier. Opens up. It only has one hinge and it works off of a press mechanism. A press mechanism. So that hinge that you see here actually moves down. So there's no um, 
thick pad under here something a gush pad so to speak like maybe some of the others have it only has the one hinge and it has these little buttons here that press down so you press the plate to make it work it has the magnets but these magnets have little tabs on them built into them so that when you need to pull them up you've got a handhold ready to go it's open on three sides so you are able to use it left-handed you're able to use it right-handed you're able to move your paper this way you're able to move your paper in this way you're able to move your paper in that way you're able to move your paper you've got options with it it is gridded and it has lines okay this is the only thing that i wish we could do i don't know if we can maybe take something maybe some stays on and put it in there because i'd like to be able to see yeah see I would probably take, he's probably going, oh my God, what are you doing? I would probably take some stays on and ink up the side so you can read the measurements better. So I know this is a molded plastic and to do it in two colors would be probably cost prohibitive and I wouldn't be able to offer it to you at the $19.99 or even the $24.99, I think, when it finally releases. But if you took, I'm using Memento, so this is going to wipe off. But if you took some ink, you could then see the dimension, the, the, the um, ruler, a little bit easier. And like I said, I'm using Memento, so it's it's going to wipe off. So if you do get it dirty with ink, you can see it just comes right clean. Now, I said I was going to take four of the stamps. Let's get a new cleaner. Four of the stamps from Stampendous out of the one little bundle, which is also on a YouTube Yummies. I'm going to take four of my stamps and I'm going to make one card out of them. So I'm going to grab my paper. And I'm going to put it down. I've got my little magnet tabs on my corner. And I'll tell you, the SMS girls were really excited to see these because they have trouble um, pulling up. They have the Tim Holtz one. Um, they have trouble pulling the magnets up or moving them. These have little tabs. And Ozzy Andrew has told me that that there'll be replacements if you lose one or you need more there'll be additional you know a package of additional magnets coming out later in the year now I'm gonna line up my stamps where I want them so let's say I want the happy right there and I want the birthday right there and then maybe I want my flower I want a flower here and maybe I want a flower here and then maybe I want my little butterfly maybe I move my happy birthday over here And I want my little butterfly there. So basically, I've got a whole layout right there for you. And I've laid it right on my paper, not on my acrylic. I close up my acrylic, assuming that's where I want everything. I want another little flower. Maybe I use this little flower right there 
Or maybe I use it up here. So anyway, I close it up. I give a press down. And now all of my stamps are exactly in place where they're supposed to be. I can then go ahead and ink up. And I can close up. And I can press. Give a nice press. And open. And there's my image. But it didn't all come out. I'm missing spaces. Because everything lines up and stays in place, just like all the other stamp platforms, all you have to do is re-ink. And repress. And I'm done. If I want it even darker, I can ink it up again. Like maybe with that one right there is this one right here. Maybe I just added a little extra ink to that one. And I close it up and I give a press one, two, three, ABC, and pull up. And I'm done. And I've taken all my stamps to make the cutest little happy birthday card, which I can then color and trim out. Entirely up to me. I can move these around now. Or I can take, if I'm making birthday cards, I can take and lay another piece of paper down right in the exact same place and just keep going. We all have seen stamp pla uh, platforms out there. We've seen them. They've been around for a while. It became a very hot topic for a while. This one is different. This one presses down. You don't have to have a different platform for cling stamps as you do for clear stamps. You can take a cling stamp and do the same thing. Pull my stamps off. So I could take a piece of paper and hold it up here. I could take a cling stamp from Stampendous. This one's brand new and it has the butterfly that comes out so you can stamp with or without that butterfly. I can put it here. ink up gosh I don't know they're also pretty all right I'm gonna close it and I'm gonna give a press and then open, and there's my image. Now I only inked up half of my stamp. If I want it darker, I come back. I only inked up half my stamp. Close it up, press, pull it up. And trim out exactly what I want. You don't have to flip the plate around based off of whether it's a clear stamp or a cling stamp. It's all off the premise that you push. Got a little ink over there. I'm using Memento. Not a problem.
wipes right up. And there'll be more of the magnets. You'll be able to buy more of the magnets later on. If I wanted that cute little butterfly, I could I need a clean piece of paper. Put it down. Put it there. Put my magnets. Close up. Pick it up. Ink. And then press. Pull it up. And there it is. Does this mean my gush pad is no longer needed? Maybe. <laughs> Am I okay with that? Yes, I'm okay with that. My gush pad's $1.99. <laughs> Stamp platform is $24.99. It's called the Precision Stamp Press. And we're selling it for $19.99, which I think makes it in many more of your budgets than what perhaps was previously on the market. I could just trim this right on out. Color it in with my Tombows and start making a simple, easy, fun card by using what came in the Stampendous bundle. There's no reason why you can't put more than one of them together to give you an entire look as opposed to a single image. Sure you can, absolutely. You could take this stamp here and stamp it again and again. I don't know where I've just put it. And I could have used this as part of my background. I could have done one tall enough I could have done this made one tall enough to put inside so it covered the whole background and then used the butterfly and pop the butterfly out and have it cut it freehand it cut it out and have it flying three-dimensional there's lots to be done and the stamp press it's nice I won't I won't I won't say it's better I will say it's different it's different enough that I'm comfortable carrying it and it's at a price point that I think is just great gosh wouldn't that be pretty you did the whole background in this oh my gosh that'd be beautiful so this is by couture creations opens up easy to use it's a press you don't have to worry about doing it like this you can just press all over and if for some reason it doesn't press hard enough that's fine just put it right back on and do it again. Little ducky, so cute. Get my little ducky, my paper, and maybe I want my ducky. Oh, maybe I want them walking. Wouldn't that be darling? Let's see if I can trim this down just a little bit because it's a little long. What if I put a ducky there, close it up, 
press. He's in place. Oh, I didn't put my didn't put my little magnets down. Let's see, I want him there. Put my magnets in place. There. Press. He's in place. Ink him up. One, two, three, A, B, C. There he is. If I want him darker, I can come back in. One, two, three, A, B, C. Now he's even darker. Then I can move him to my next place. Where do I want him? Maybe I want him like that. Lay him down, close him up, press, pick him up. Left a little impression because he was already inked. One, two, three, A, B, C. Give a press. Pull it up. Do you want him darker? Because right now that's the color he is. The second one. Let's make the second one darker. Come back, add a little more ink. Close them up. Press. One, two, three. A, B, C. Oh, look at how good he is now. Right? And then I can take him one more time. And let's move this one this way. Close them up. Ink. Press. And I could just keep going. Super cute, right? Step platform's nice. It lets you go back if you make a mistake. It lets you go back and darken it. It lets you go back if you're doing production work at a price that I am happy with. So thank you, Ozzy Andrew, for that. All right. I have got tons of samples for you. What did we go over today? Well, we talked about the super cute what were meant for babies set of window ramas that when you're done doesn't have to be for baby at all no 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 that was the make and take that was the one i was playing with doesn't have to be for baby at all no die cutting needed a little bit of tape and some markers or some watercolor pencils or some crayons or whatever you have to stamp and color and you can put an invitation in there you can put a picture in there you can put a an actual image inside if you have a lovely picture you want to put in there you get eight of them eight envelopes eight fronts eight backs for you to to make your own cards with and when you send them they lay flat and then when they get them, they pop up and they sit right on their desk or their table. And it truly is a oh, moment. It really is. <laughs> it's really wonderful when somebody gets one of these. So we played with those. We played with the Tombow markers. We played with the stamp press from Couture Creations, which I believe you can only find here right now. So let me, let me walk you through some of the products. We have both of the sets of stamps from Stampendous, whether it be the Fran set or the House Mouse set. 12 stamps, uh, ink, and a, uh, a block. So you're ready to go right when you get them. They retail for $23.99, and then they'll be 20% off. If you need a gift, this is a great gift. If you have a class that you need to do, well, this gives you 12 stamps. If you can pass them around and they can use them. You're not waiting on just one stamp. Great, great idea, easy to use. Then we have the card bases that I showed you, which are actually for baby, only we did non-baby things with them. We took them out of the baby, not that there's anything wrong with baby, but maybe, maybe you love the polka dot, but you don't wanna do a baby card. You don't have to. 
Hello. So we've got these, they're $14.99, also on sale, 20% off. Then we've got the big stamp that I was playing with, lovely. This is a six by six by Stampendous, and it's also 20% off. Um, I've got the Nouveau brushes that I was using and the exclusive set of Stacy. So these are colors that are not found in any other set for Tombow markers. It's exclusive for scrapbooking made simple. And we've got that on sale along with the stamp platform from Couture Creations. If you haven't got one yet and you've always wanted one for 20 bucks, this is the one to have. Now, samples, that's the fun part, and I have oodles of them. All right, let's bring, let's bring these over. So just a simple card using the stamp. Actually, I used that stamp in what I was just playing with. And that's out of the Fran set. Then I've got a house mouse. Now you're saying, well, how did they get this paper? They used the dye, the window rama dye to make this, because this was in paper that they chose. But that house mouse stamp is part of the house mouse bundle. So cute. Then we have a little doggy. Again, using the Fran set. Look at it, isn't that so cute for a little kid? And then they get it like this, and then it goes like this. Look at it, isn't that so cute? It's a little, it's a little robot. He's darling. What does it say? I'm nuts. I'm nuts and bolts about you. It's so cute. Then I have a card. Again, made with the Fran set. This is from the Fran set. This is from the Fran set. And then these are just washi tapes. The Enjoy, all out of that set. And here, so the two stamps that I use and the butterfly, look it, made a background out of the back using the two set, the stamps that I used when I was playing. And here's a thank you that comes in the Fran set. And there's the butterfly that I used. Lays flat. And then you send it off. And here, just black and white stamping in the back and then only one colored and cut out and popped up. That's a lovely card. And here we have, so cute, the little ducky, and he's got balloons from the happy. So the balloons and the happy are together and the little ducky, look at happy birthday. Oh, so cute. That's using the ducky that I used when I did the three. So it's got the base that was from the baby and then stamps from the Fran set. Oh, and here's another one using the happy birthday to you and the balloons. Look at how simple is that? So one stamp set, just one of those mini sets made this card. And then pinking of you, you are fab. Yes, that comes in the Fran set. The Flamingo. Doris looked at that and said, oh, that's for me. <laughs> and then stamping with the butterfly that I did and the enjoy. Cute, right? And then we have a house mouse. Drop by any time cute little house mouse and it folds flat goes right into the envelope provided simple coloring very simple coloring using Tombow markers 
And then look at this one. If you didn't want to do a window rama, look at how cute. Comes in the house mouse set is that darling. So pretty. And then we have the little kitty cat, what's up? So if you have friends who have kitty cats, you've got a stamp now for them. And then this is stunning. This is using, and remember what I said, to use the back and then use the butterfly and stamp and cut it out. This is beautiful. This is all using this stamp right here. So they stamped with it, left the butterfly out, and then cut the stamp the butterfly separately and cut it out. Lovely. This is beautiful. And then remember how I said you can just put a picture inside? There you go. You can put a little, it's a girl or it's a boy right there. You can put their information on the back, the height and the weight and the date and the name. So cute. If you want to use it for baby, absolutely. But then we have You Quack Me Up. <laughs> you Quack Me Up using the little ducky stamp that I used. And the You Quack Me Up comes with the set. Then we have Thinking of You. And here we have a beautiful one. Again, just using bits and pieces of the six by six stamp set. Just using bits and pieces of it to stamp. How pretty is that? And then it lays flat and then it pops up. And here we have House Mouse. Welcome little one. And this one's just happy, happy, happy. Literally. Happy, happy, happy. <laughs> Taking one of the mini sets and making an entire card around it. Now, how much scratch paper do you have? How many little snippets do you have left? Look at how cute is this, just making a collage. Just layering them, basket weaving them. You could put anything on top of this. Anything would go. The little doggy, the little cat, some house mouse, whatever it would go right on top of this idea. That's very clever to use up your little scraps. And here we've done, again, just a simple background. Stamping again, again, with very little color added to it. And then the two right here that pop out. Okay, now I have not opened this one. I've been waiting. Well, I'll save that to the last. Here's another one where we used the six by six, cut it out, and then popped the butterfly. Okay, I haven't, I haven't opened this one. I've been waiting. So I'm told I'm supposed to, gosh, I hope I've done it right. Open, pull, pull and open. <gasps> I can't get it out. Holy smokes, artichokes, it's supposed to open. Oh, what am I doing wrong? They're gonna kill me. The girls, Stacy, pull the ribbons and untie to open. I'm pulling, I'm pulling. I'm pulling, pull the ribbons, I'm pulling. I, I see it's a little book and I want it out, but I can't get it out. Oh, Laura, what did I do? Is it sealed to the bottom? Oh, Whew. that was almost horrible. Oh, Laura, look at this. Oh, oh, okay, that was worth it. And then you, oh, that's so clever. Why can't I think of things like that? And then you pull them back. 
Oh, look at that. Okay, so it slipped into the pocket. I pulled it out. I untied the ribbon. And then you pulled open. Okay, a little bit of magnifique. That's beautiful. I'm glad I didn't ruin the surprise, Laura. <laughs> I would have felt terrible. And then put it right back in. It stuck to the bottom. And then you put it back in and give it. Oh, this is a lovely gift. <laughs> this is a work of art. All right, you guys. I'm going to tilt on up. I'm going to scroll on back because it's a lot of me. Uh, this way. I'm going to say, I hope you learned something in this YouTube. I hope you saw something maybe you hadn't seen before or picked up a new tip or technique or trip. Trip? No, we're not going on a trip. <laughs> tip, technique, or trick. <laughs> and that you can understand why I brought the stamp platform in from Couture Creations. It is different. Different than, than what's already out there. Different doesn't always, it, I'm not saying it's better than what's out there. I'm saying it's different and that it works beautifully. And that if you've not had one before because price point has kept you from getting it, this may be a good time. We have it exclusively here at Scrapbooking Made Simple. And the stamps from Stampendous, again, very few have them, if any. I know that more retailers will have them in January, but I think we may be one of the few that have them currently right now, and they'll all be 20% off those two, those two separate bundles, the Fram bundle and the House Mouse bundle. And the cards, the baby cards that look so cute as everything else, including baby, will be 20% off. So we've got lots of product in the YouTube yummies. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you in 2020. Hard to believe it's 2020, but I will see you next week where we have yummies in from Italy. Oh, my heart be still. I love everything. That's the problem. That's why I end up with 100 pairs of socks because I think they're all cute. <laughs> all right, you guys. It's me, Stacy. Scrapbooking Made Simple, scrapbookingmadesimple.com. That's where you'll go to shop to find most of this product since it is exclusive to us. I will see you next week and I hope you have a very safe and very happy new year. It is going to be amazing. 2020 is going to be great for all of us. I just feel it. All right. Bye everybody.